Hello and welcome back. Today is our second part of pizza making. We made the pizza dough a little bit earlier and now we're going to start making the pizza. So our dough has risen. I've cut it with my dough scraper into three pieces. A normal dough recipe will make two pizza doughs. This I'm going to make two mini pies and a regular size pie. So I also have the rest of my ingredients ready. I have my pasta sauce. You can use whichever is your favorite. I'm just using a can of Hunt's. I've got some pepperoni, some olives, and some meatballs. Again, whatever your favorite toppings are here, feel free to be creative. And I have my mozzarella cheese. I have a little bit more flour because I need that to sprinkle on my hands and on my work surface while I'm stretching out the dough. And most importantly, I have my pizza pans. I have two different types of pans here. I have one pan that has small holes, and I have something called a pizza grid. I highly recommend the pizza grid, but if you don't have it, either one will work. And if you don't have either one of the trays, you can also just use a baking sheet. Now let's get started. So I'm going to take my dough and I'm going to put it in this nicely floured area. I'm going to start pressing my fingers into the dough just to start shaping it. Okay, now as my shape starts to form, I am going to pick it up and I'm going to stretch it out. Now this is where gluten in flour really comes in handy. Gluten is what allows the pizza dough to stretch. And now our dough is stretching really nicely. And I'm just pulling on it real gentle. Um, if you pull too much, it will break and crack. This is where you can choose your thickness of pizza. I know that everybody likes a different thickness. I like it really thin. Some other people like it really thick. It's up to you, it's up to your taste. I'm gonna to try to make it pretty thin. So I'm gonna keep on stretching it as far as I can. And that dough has great elasticity. That means that it's gonna stretch as I want it. Now, as this is a personal size pizza, I am probably gonna stop here. Now, I'm gonna lay it down, make sure it's the shape that I want it, and I'm gonna get the rest of my pans ready. Now, I have a little parchment paper, okay? The parchment paper really helps here. It helps for the pizza not to stick to the pan. I'm gonna put it right here on top of my pan. It's gonna be a nice surface area. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna take my pizza dough, and I'm gonna put it onto my pan. Now, this is where we're gonna add a little pasta sauce. Now, we don't want to add too much sauce. If we add too much sauce, then it's going to make the dough soggy. So you want to just have a real light touch when you're adding your pasta sauce. I know that some people love sauce. I do too. But you really don't want a soggy dough. You want a nice crisp dough. Now, once my pasta sauce is put on, I'm going to come on over here. I'm going to get some of my mozzarella cheese. I grated this mozzarella cheese. Um, if you have pre-grated mozzarella cheese, that's fine too. It's going to melt fine. Um, it's also really good with fresh mozzarella. Again, you don't want to add too many toppings or else it will make your crust soggy and your crust will not bake. So as much as I love cheese, I'm going to show a little bit of restraint here. Now I'm going to put on my toppings. I'm going to choose to put on some meatballs. I had made some homemade meatballs the other day. So I'm going to use them up here and I'm going to put on some black olives. After my pizza is all finished, I'm going to pop it into the oven. Now this is pretty important. Pizza ovens and regular pizza stores run about 800 degrees, between 700 and 800 degrees. A regular home oven does not get that hot. But I got my oven to up to about 500, which is as high as it goes, and that's what I'm going to bake it on. If your oven only goes to 450, that's fine too. You just want to adjust your cooking times. So I'm going to pop this into my preheated oven for about eight minutes. Now again, if you're cooking it at 450, you want to amend your times. So keep on checking on it in about eight minutes. As soon as the pizza is ready, you'll know the dough should be firm and starting to show some brownness at the edges and your cheese will be melted. All right, thanks very much for joining. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please leave any comments if you have any questions and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Bye.